So last time you saw me, I was in Starbucks having a coffee. Now I'm in a very Singaporean establishment, a Hawker Centre, having a coffee si kosong. Now Singapore is famous for Hawker Centres, and one thing you'll find at Hawker Centres, and it hasn't changed for hundreds of years, is this real mix of different foods and different nationalities. When Andrew Carnegie, the billionaire, came to Singapore in the 19th century, he talked about this area here, Tanjong Pagar, and what he could see on the streets, different nationalities selling different things with different skills, dressed very differently. He talked about the Chinaman selling his wares, walking on the street, the Tamils selling nuts and rice, the Malays selling fish, and the Hindus would go from house to house in the morning offering their barber services to the landed gentry. That was industrialization for the last 200 years. It was built on skill asymmetry, where certain nations had access to certain smart people and skills. But all of that is changing. Go to Shenzhen now and you'll probably find some of the most advanced applications of AI in the world. Not Silicon Valley, not Boston. And my point is, is that every nation today has access to smart people. What counts is how much access those smart people have to markets and capital. And that is where Asia has a massive advantage.